my name is Hannah Smith and welcome to the third episode of UR Sports Zone. This Sunday morning we are here at the track of Edwin Favre Stadium at the University of Rochester. This is the men's and women's track and field's first home meet. Last weekend, our athletes competed at the SUNY Geneseo Early Season Invitational. Join us today as we highlight standout performances, interview athletes, and uncover the stories behind the moments that define this prestigious event, honoring Rochester alumni. I'm here with the men's 4x1 here at the Alumni Track Invitational. Can you each say your name and your grade, please? Evan Bryant, freshman. I'm Mitch, I'm a senior. Uh, I'm PJ, I, I'm a junior. I'm Manny, I'm a junior. So you guys have had a lot of great progress thus far. How has the transition from winter track to spring track been? Fantastic. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. Indoors, the turns are sharp, you know, you just go slower and like coming outside, you get the sun, you get the winds and it's just like much more enjoyable. That and you have all the training from indoors, so you perform better. How do you guys communicate on the track? I know you can't speak to one another while you're running, but what is a form of communication you use? Uh, we have three commands. One is stick. That's when you want your teammate to put their arm up and get the baton. Um, Emergency ones are slow and hopefully never have to use stop. Uh, slow is just if you take out too early, you want to tell your teammate to slow down. And stop is worst case scenario, you want them to stop. Because there is a zone you have to do. There's like the two triangles in the track. Um, you have to hand off between those two zones. Otherwise, it's a DQ. Did you guys have any fatigue factors during this specific race? Nope. Uh, not really. Uh, 100 meters, luckily, is one of the shorter races. so. The relay, you're able to usually finish strong. Uh, in this point of the year, the condition is not the best, but as the season goes longer, we'll definitely have better conditioning and it'll be easier to finish. But overall, pretty good, not too much fatigue. So. What are some strengths you guys felt you had during this race? Um, honestly, just like our speed alone <laughs> carried us pretty far. Um, and our handoffs were pretty good. Nothing was went wrong with them. But I think we definitely have some things to clean up. And we can definitely do better. So what are you guys looking forward to going on this season? Well, so obviously as a team, we want to win the Outdoor Liberty League Championship. We missed it on indoor, unfortunately, just by a small margin. So we're looking to do that for outdoor. And then with the race we just did the 4 by one we've just broke the school record, but we're going to break it a couple more times. Congratulations. Now I'm wondering, have you guys ever dropped the baton? Well, that's an accomplishment in and of itself. Good job out there today, guys, and thank you again. I'm here with Rita Shortino. So tell us, Rita, what are you racing today? Um, today I'm running the Open 400 and the 4x400 meter relay. Awesome. How are you feeling going into your race? Um, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I mean, I always get a little bit anxious before the typical pre-race jitters. Um, yeah, so I guess just nervous, but I'm excited. It's my first Open outdoor 400 so it's fun. That's awesome. So how has the transition from winter to spring track been for you? Yeah so we had one meet last uh, last weekend at Towson in Maryland and it was very windy there so that was kind of hard to balance with everything. Um, I ran the 800 but it's been a good transition. I much prefer outdoor to indoor. Um, it's just like nicer weather. The track's better to run on. It's like easier to visualize in my head because it's one lap instead of two. So yeah, I like it a lot better. It's been very smooth, so. How do you overcome your nerves going into your race? Um, I say I try to do visualization and just remember that, like, at the end of the day, if I don't do as well as I want to, it doesn't matter. Like, the world's so big. <laughs> but it's very challenging because I get anxious for, like, a while ahead of time. But really just, like, focusing on my breathing and knowing that my training has been building up to this. That's awesome. What are you looking forward to going into the rest of the season? What are your goals? Um, I'm looking forward to, I'm hoping to make Liberty Leagues in the 400. I made it in the 800 last week. Um, yeah, and just hopefully like the whole team has just as much success as we have in the past few years. So 
And what are you looking forward to today? What do you hope to accomplish during your race? Um, I hope to just have a good race, run it well, not get too, well, I'm going to get burnt out at the end, but like make sure I have enough left in my tank for the last 100 meters because that's when it really settles in, the lactic acid builds up. So yeah, probably just having a good race and completing it. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rita. Good luck today. Thank you. I'm here with Rocky Casarino at the Alumni Invitational. So Rocky, what did you race today? I did the 400, but I'm also gonna do the 4x1 and the 4x4. How did you feel during your most recent race, the four? I felt pretty good. I think I could have like gotten out a little bit slower because I kind of felt really tired towards the end, but I still did PR, so pretty happy with it. So during your race, what is your strategy during the four? Oh, uh, so it's kind of like push, progress, pray because <laughs> like towards the end like you're just kind of like dead like I'll be so real with you so like at first like getting out of the blocks like you're supposed to just like run as fast as you can then kind of just like stride it out and then start to like pick it up more and then just like everything you got towards the end it's a little bit rough I'm not gonna lie <laughs> what was your fatigue factor during this race and how did you overcome it um pretty hot like because like I said earlier like I got out like pretty fast but I just kind of like think like you're almost there like you're so close you're getting closer you're getting closer and then it's just like it's over <laughs> so what are you most looking forward to the rest of the season I'm hoping I can get sub 60 like soon ish that's my main goal and I think I'm definitely like on the right track to do that so I'm at 60 61 right now in that range so hopefully we get there yeah, awesome. Thank you so much, Rocky. Best of luck this season. I'm here with Nora Chen of the women's track and field team. So, Nora, what did you run today? Uh, well, I ran the 100 meters so far. I ran the 400 hurdles, and then I have the 4x4 four four in about, like, half an hour? 40, 50 minutes? How did you feel during your races thus far? Um, pretty good. Uh, the 100, I haven't run it in a while, but it's a short race, so it's not, not too bad. Um, and the 400, I felt a lot better than last time. Um, much smoother over the hurdles. Still a little bit of fatigue at the end, but I don't know. I just feel like it was an overall better race than last week, so I'm, I'm happy it went that way. So despite being a freshman, you've had a ton of accomplishments so far. Can you tell me a few about those? Uh, sure. Um, well, okay. Uh, uh, in the indoor season um, at our Liberty League championship I got um, the third in the 400 so that was cool uh, it re at regionals I got fourth in the 400 and then um, this past March uh, yeah it was March right yeah sorry uh, this past March I went to nationals with our team as part of the 4x4 and then we got first so that was really cool how did it feel being a freshman at nationals and having access to all these really interesting opportunities it was really awesome. Like genuinely, the first day we got there, um, we had like three full days in Virginia Beach, and the first it was like it was pre-meet, it was getting settled in, and it was really cool because it's basically you get a day as what it would feel to be like like a D1 or a professional athlete. It was a really neat experience, and it's obviously like, a lot of nerves, but it's it's a good way to show me like all the cool stuff of track and how to help me teach myself to manage those better. How was the transition from winter track into spring season? Um, it was it was pretty smooth, I would say, because it I felt like it wasn't that it wasn't too sharp because at the so you know how like right before um, break we had like that week or two like the weather was getting better, so we will juggle back and forth in between practicing outside and inside depending on like what the temperature is, so it's not like it was uh, a sudden shock because we'd already been bouncing back and forth, so it just kind of went pretty smoothly, I would say. Do you have a preference, winter or spring season? 99% of track athletes are going to tell you spring just because you're outside, the weather's nice. When it's more open, you can see everything. It feels easier. Um, but I will say one thing I do appreciate about um, indoor is, you know, there's no weather. You're inside, so it's consistent conditions. But I would still say prefer spring. Okay. Awesome. So how are you feeling for the rest of the season? Any goals? Um, well, I think my goal for the 400 hurdles is if I can, I want to try and get into like the 62 range. Uh, my coach told me that if I'm in like the 
mid 62s, I have a I have a good shot of trying to make it to nationals for that. Going in an individual event would be very nerve wracking, but it would also be really, really cool. So hopefully that works. That's great. Thank you so much for your time, Nora, and good luck at the rest of your race. I'm here with Kai Kelsey of the men's track and field team. So Kai, how did you feel about your race today and what did you run? Uh, today I went the 4x1, the 100 and long jump. Uh, I felt I got PRs uh, in the 100 qualified for libs. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of room for uh, improvement, but definitely a good day uh, around the board. Do you have a preference, field events versus running events? Um. I feel like my favorite events might be, I think long, like field field events are funner, but I think I'm more into like training for the, the running events, yeah. So you're a freshman, how has the transition from high school track and field to college track and field been? It's like a completely different game. Um, I'm from Florida, so I haven't done indoor yet, I'm doing outdoor. And you know, a lot of the freshmen were just trying to work our way to like trying to be like a viable aspect to the team, score points and meets, and uh, we're all getting there, so we're, we're transitioning real smoothly. What are you looking forward to the rest of the season? Do you have any goals? Yeah, I'm trying to get a medal at Liberty League's championships. Hopefully we could take down RPI and uh, win the Liberty League championships. Great, thank you so much. Good luck this season. Thank you, thank you. I'm here with Sam Jacob of the men's track and field team. So Sam, what did you run today and how did you feel about your race? Hi, um, I ran the 800 meters today. Felt all right about it. It wasn't too great, but a lot to work up through. Uh, I had a good race last week, so I'm really excited to see how the season goes. So have you always been a distance runner? Yeah, um, I started off running long distance and I transitioned to mid distance later in high school. And I, I don't really like running that long. I do cross country as well, but it's all for track. You know. How has the transition from the cross country season to the track season been? What does that look like? It's been, it's been really weird because this is my first season running 8Ks. Um, and just going from an 8K to a 800 is just like really, it's a really big difference. So having that speed work and having that fitness from cross country is really huge when you're going on a track like this. Absolutely. So what does your 800 training consist of? I know that's a race of a lot of strategy. So how do you push through that? 800 is a really hard race. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of LT work, which is like tempo um, and building a lot of fitness through that is really huge for the eight. And then you transition to like more speed work. Um, and with that speed work, it really helps a lot with the closing stages of your race, which is something I got to work on. And we're going to get more speed work in this season. So I'm very excited about that. What do you think you can improve upon from this race today going forward? Definitely the closing stages of my race and going out a little bit slower and having a little bit of better race strategy. It was a little windy today, so I shouldn't have been as far up in the pack as I was. But there's a lot of time and a lot of things to work on, so I'm really excited. What is your main goal for the rest of the season? Definitely hit Liberty League standards. It's a really big thing here on this team. A lot of history with that. We won uh, this past indoor, the women's won this past indoor, and the year before the men's won. So really good team in Liberties, and I'm really excited for that. And as well as the 1500 hitting the Liberty standard in that. So yeah. Great. Thank you so much, Sam, and have a great rest of your season. We had some great performances today from the men and women's track and field team here at the Alumni Invitational. We look forward to a great rest of the season. Thank you so much for watching and go Jackets.